Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum and good evening. Let's talk about fun fact on world population. Do you know? Today, world population is 7.7 billion. The 7.7 billion drink one liter of water today. The whole of Tasik Kenya will be dry out. Yes, Tasik Kenya, the whole of Tasik Kenya. And then what happened is the 7.7 billion, 7.7 billion P, the Kuala Lumpur, the whole of Kuala Lumpur and Selangor will surely be flooded by peas. No? This is an alarming fact. You know why? Because historically, in 1800, we reached our first billion. Within 140 years, 140 years, we reached our second billion. In 1940. And we reached our fourth billion in 1970. Within 30 years. But today, within 37 years, we are already reached at 7.7 billion. Yes, 7.7 billion. Based on calculation today, 108 million being born today. Per day, being born today. 40 million die, but we still have 60 million growth. 60 million growth. Let me say, 60 million growth. What happened? Within, in 2050, we are expected to reach 20, in 2050, we, we are supposed to reach our 10 billion. What happened in 2100, we will reach our 20 billion. Whereas, the ideal population for this was only 2 billion with the, with the current resources. So, this is an alarming factor. Because of this alarming factor, we need to know what will happen if we control and overpopulate like this. There will be a mass migration, you know. There will be mass migration. People are outside the outskirts because of resources, because of income. They will flood the city. And then the city will create a lot of slum. You no, know, squatters, everything. You know, when, when everything is flooded, you know what happened to the, the, to, the, to, the, the, to the city? We are going to be overpopulated. When the city are being overpopulated, and then our city, they will be reducing in resources. And then there will be the problem in sanitation. When problem in sanitation, there will definitely will be disease. You know, all these small, small and petty, petty disease will happen. You know, this is the, the main concern. You know, the, the, far, the far worst thing will happen that because of limited resources, there will be wars. Definitely there will be wars. Everybody are fighting about a small, small thing because of food and needs. This is what happened. Uh, although there's a theory regarding it, there's a scientific studies that shows that from demographic transition, from uh, rapid growth in 1800 and to negative growth they expect in 2050 and above, there will be reducing in population by, by you know, because of this uh, demographic transition. Like, like, like me, you know, my, my, uh, my grandmother, uh, great great grandfather great-great-grandmother have to use to have 12 children but the only surviving kids surviving are three my mother and his uh, sister who can reproduce and then from my mother they, she uh, she, uh, uh, she produced six children I'm the youngest uh. you know from these six go to how many my mother currently have 32 grandchildren 32 grandchildren yes though myself I myself have been late. I'm the youngest in the family, so I only can so uh, back three children. Okay, this is what they call it from rapid to zero. When yeah, people are over the period, the, the the ratio of growth will be reduced. But this is a theory. Then he said, this is a theory. What we need to understand that we need to have a solution. Among solution that have been suggested, uh, you know, we need to control growth by first educating our woman so if a woman are very educated they know how to control the population they won't breed easily and then let the children wear around you know huh? four or five children without nothing to concern huh? like you know and then we the government need to exercise and impose this 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 ideas you know like all the Chinese government ideas one couple one baby 
because that is why China is controlling their population by one to one, one couple to one. Over the period, over the period, the population will, will reduce. And then we need to understand also, we need to take care of the third parties, we need to control on our resources. We need to control our resources. We need to produce and rethink our resources. Our the basic need is water and food. We need to rethink and consider what we speak. You know, currently the most uh, important that are being engaged by Belinda and Bill Gates Foundation, they spend billion of dollars. I think almost two to three billion just to improve these two factors. One is sanitation. Two is health. By controlling the sanitation, you know, there will be a control health because there is no diarrhea. You know, sometimes diarrhea happen in the town. Uh, this is what happened. when this uh, when when this thing happen. No, we can control. Though based on study that we are we will survive, but we need to play our part. Just not let nature. That's not let nature. Uh, that the nature. Uh, do we need to contribute our our part in the society? You know, most important things that we uh, need to understand about our children's futures, our grand grandchildren's futures. If we consume more today, and then our grandchildren will suffer, our children will suffer. So we need to consider this thing before it reach to, into the massive and uncontrolled amount. We need to find a way to make this thing at least. Away, everybody away on our world population. So finally, let us unite and consider this thing is an important factor before everything today. Thank you everybody. Thank you for your time.